morning. We're doing the Roman Forum in Palatine Hill. Um, we got here at about 9 a.m. Rode the train in, and we already had our tickets. We already had tickets from yesterday. They're good for two days. So now we're just gonna go in here. They're probably gonna do a security check. They are. They are. So this is the Roman Forum. Ancient ruins of a Roman town. I believe these construction workers are either renovating it or excavating it. It's pretty big, but again, it is ruins. It's very cool. Um, we need some context for what we're looking at here. So they do have some signs up, but Kalo isn't stopping to read any of them. I'm supposed to be, I can't, it's too hot. Okay. Again, it's early, it's still nine in the morning. Not a whole lot of people here because they usually want to hit the Coliseum first. So the tickets are good for two days for the Coliseum, the Roman Forum, and Palatine Hill. Yeah, but that's back the way we came. It is. Kayla still has not Googled what the Roman Forum is. Well, tell me what it is. Here's a medieval portico. Is it talking about this? I think it's talking about this. Oh, the sun just blinded everybody. It ruined everything. Okay, let's go in the sun here. Look at that tree's got another tree hanging out of it. All right, so that's the plan. Yeah. All right, Kayla, tell us what the Roman Forum is. I think this is a graveyard. Forum is a rectangular plaza surrounded by the ruins of several important ancient government buildings at the center of the city of Rome. Citizens of the ancient city referred to the space originally a marketplace as the Forum Magnum, most likely the Forum. Um, do you want me to read more? I want to know what I'm looking at. Okay. Monuments. The Roman for Okay, there's a Temple of Saturn. But there's no picture. Oh, yeah, there is. Um, I believe the Temple of Saturn was those pillars we passed. Okay. Um, what is this? So this bank. What is this? Okay, I think actually that might be. That's probably got a sign. Yeah, I think that has a building. That's all I got at Temple of Saturn. Okay. I'm on Wikipedia. <laughs> right. Thanks, Wikipedia. So this is an old town. Right. So let's look and see what this sign says. I don't know, those pillars, they usually oh. carve names in all their crap. Here. So-called Temple of Romulus. Um, let's take a look-see at it. Okay. Let's find out what this big one is. They should let us go in this house. It's a tragedy that they don't. Definitely. Um, I'm really blind These um, roads and streets that we're walking on are pretty rough. They are. Not wheelchair friendly. Yeah, so called cursor. So like I said, the roads are pretty rough, like as far as walking around goes, and you will trip if you're not paying attention. It's just these big stone blocks, so not wheelchair accessible. Antoninus and Faustina. Built in 141. Pause it if you feel. I'm gonna pull. All right, let's see what we got here. Gotta take some pictures. Okay. So 
So we're here at the Roman Forum and we were here by ourselves almost for a little bit. As you can see in the distance, the tour groups are swarming. So we are, um, we've gotten up to of old ruins at the Roman Forum. We used the bathroom, which was remarkably nice and there was absolutely nobody in there. Um, no toilet seats, they don't do toilet seats here. Well, the tour groups are about to descend upon us and ruin our day. So we're gonna go to Palantine Hill and hope that they are going here first. Do you want me to tell you what the Palantine Hill is? Yes, please. Palantine Hill is the centermost of the seven hills of Rome and is one of the most ancient parts of the city. It stands 40 meters above the Roman Forum, looking down upon it on one side and upon the Circus Maximus on the other. So, so that means it's that it's there. either up here Maybe. or it's over here that we can't um, see. Let's see. Palantine Hill from the Colosseum. I don't know. These are the retaining walls. These are the retaining walls. So we will find it. Um, we will find it. We're going to find it. Excavations show that people have lived in this area since the 10th century BC. Hmm. So we're going to go find this. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. We did a terrible job recording this, but the crowd you see above the umbrella is on the same hill where we started this video practically alone. It's 10.40 right now. We got there at 9 a.m. We didn't go close to the Tell us what we're looking at here. Um, this is a large structure. Large structure. In the Roman Forum. In the Roman Forum. Um, but I haven't figured out exactly what it is yet. We haven't figured out exactly what it is yet. I don't see a sign or anything. I think it in the shade too. There's a uh, ancient Roman truck. Curtains in that window. And ancient Roman. To here, Palatine Hill. See the people up there like ants? Yeah. Let's go up there and be people like ants too. Let's predict how easy the journey will be. Well, it's a green circle instead of a well, that means get instead of a yellow diamond. I think that the journey up Palatine Hill, if they don't have a Palatine elevator, it's going to be strenuous and a sweaty affair. Right in the sun. Well, taking the train is a sweaty affair in this country, so sure. I think climbing a hill shall it make us sweat down. quite a lot. Again, I'm running upward. He's anciently praying. Yes. Oh, I tripped already. That must be the worst job in the world. Taking little barrels on this. There's another fountain. Oh, I know. That's like the worst I've ever taken something with wheels down these hills. Yeah. Don't break them. All right, so Palantine Hill is marked as a yellow. Yellow diamond. Yellow diamond. Not a red triangle. Right, so it's meant to be... What do they sell stuff for? I don't know. Maybe audio guides. Maybe. We don't need no stinking audio guide. We'll just use Wikipedia and our Where we're going. That's right. What if that's where you get to the elevator? Well, that would be good, but... Okay, I see a few stairs. So I'm going to turn this off so I can huff and puff in peace. <laughs> Wait, where are they going? We're going to see what we can see at the top of these stairs. Ooh. Look, it's the Coliseum over there. Really is. It's actually really nice and breezy up here. It feels good. Yeah. We're in the shade though. Okay, Museum of Palantine. Yeah. It's over that way? Yeah. And Crypto Portico Neroniano. Maybe it's Nero's Crypt. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so we came to the Crypto Portico. Alright, we're still not quite sure what it is. Whoa. It smells good. It's crazy. Like a cave formation. Yeah, look at the pool. Yeah. It's running under the ground. Gross. Yeah, but. No, I, you did. We watched it together. No, we didn't. Oh, whoops. Okay. We're up high on the hill. We haven't had to do too many stairs or anymore. Just hills. And 
we're getting close to the Palantine Museum, which was not our intention, but it's just the way it is. But we're pretty high up here. Whoa, that's cool. What is that? Wow. That's pretty cool. What is that? Is that where we just came from? There's a car. These are roads. I feel cheated. Here comes Sarah. She's going to tell us something interesting. Sarah, tell me something interesting. There's a couple of wooden buildings down there that look like they might be recreations of what the buildings may have looked like. All right, we'll walk I on. They, they can tell us I don't know. Is it? Yeah, right? I don't know. That's the one side of it that we built. I don't know. If they can drive up here, why didn't they drive us up here? They hate us. I feel cheated. All right, I'll walk close to that and then we'll go around to the museum, okay? Okay. All right, let's go. Oh, look, there's stairs over here too and little benches. There were people down there. Oh. Oh, that's a weird looking house. That house looks like it's getting ready to fall over. It. It's like the burrow. The Weasley's house. All right, to the museum. So we were headed to the Palantine Museum, which was my mirage in the desert. A place with air conditioning, and it is closed for urgent work. Urgent work. Urgent so, work that's been building up for the last Yeah, they don't want to work today, is the urgency. They urgently don't want to work today. Okay. All right, we came around the back side of the museum. We found some interesting stuff. Ooh. And there's a big crowd at a viewing point. Nice. People threw their trash in there. That's kind of cool though with the... That's pretty cool. Um, there's a crowd at a viewing point, which means there must be something to see. I'm still getting over the loss of the museum. Ooh, where's my sister? My sister is lost to me. Lost forever. She might be up there. Whoa. We're way up here. Don't worry, I got my wrist strap on. I don't trust it that much. There she is. I went through the house looking for you. Oh, I went through the other way, but then I came back out. What? Oh. Alright, well I can't stop because I'm in the sun. It's the bigger dome, I'm sure. The biggest dome. Il Duomo. Okay. I'm not there. It's just the highway. It's just the highway. I was promised a beautiful view. Yeah, you can get one if you look here. On your phone? Yeah, yeah it's a poopy set. Window to San Pietro. One of these windows. St. Peter's. That straight. means it goes that way. Okay, we're on the hunt for this supposed window. It's gotta be that way. She said St. Peter's is over there. Alright, going back in a